Today's video, we're going to be going over what I believe is one of the best overall money plays in Madden 24 right now. It is to play Mesh Spot out of the Guntight Slots Halfback Week Formation out of the Cincinnati Bengals Offense Playbook. You can also find this playbook in the live version of the Bears playbook. And we actually are just uh, just dropped a full uh, Bears offensive ebook. What's cool about the Bears offensive playbook is it combines tight slots halfback week with bunch strong offset, which are two of the best formations in this game. If you want to get that full ebook, all you got to do is join the Patreon today. It's only $10 and a link to sign up for that's going to be in the description. It'll get you access to all of our ebooks, every single offensive and defensive ebook, as well as every single update. So if you want to get access to that, the link's going to be down in the description and we're going to be breaking down the play mesh spot. Now, uh, I believe that this playbook in, in really this formation in general is really best served if you have Hot Rod Master. If you don't have Hot Rod Master, I do think a running back apprentice is very, very helpful to make sure that you're able to not only consistently be able to cook man coverage, but also able to consistently cook um, really whatever they're going to do to you uh, in terms of defensive adjustments. So the setup for this play is we're going to put the solo wide receiver or the, I'm sorry, not solo wide receiver, but the left side wide receiver on a streak. We're going to block our tight end and we're going to put the running back on a Texas pattern. Now, all you need to do with this uh, post, you can smart route this post. It'll make it a little sharper, probably get a little better of a cut at uh, beating man coverage. What this play does such a good job of is it is able to give you three or four man beating concepts that will also be able to attack zone coverage. So, in this example here, you see I'm in the cover one robber press. And this uh, drag route to the slot receiver is pretty money against uh, beating man coverage. As you can see, oftentimes they won't even be able to press him properly. And it just it's going to cook man coverage pretty much every single time. So from a user perspective, they're going to have to run and go guard that uh, crossing pattern really pretty much every single time. So their user is going to have to basically midpoint between the running back Texas in the drag route and then that's where we can either hit them over the top with this streak route if they don't have any safety help or this uh post typically can beat man coverage now let me sub cooper cup out and put uh, a better receiver in there i think i have Devonte adams on this team so let me sub him in just to get a little bit better uh, of a receiving threat at that position and if you're ever struggling to beat man coverage with this i believe it does beat man a little bit better in game than it does in practice mode just from personal experience but this, this post route pretty much always beats man. Now, if you know for a fact that it's man coverage and you do have the hot route master ability, one thing you can also do, as you can see, if they don't have safety help, a lot of times this uh, streak will be wide open over the top. If you know that they don't have, um, or if you, if you know it's probably going to be man-to-man -man coverage, right? What you can also do is you can use your slot apprentice or your hot route master to put a sharper cutting post route on the field. It's really the same basic concept. It's just this post is going to do a little better job at being able to attack uh, standard man coverage and standard coverage uh, defenses that you're going to face. Now, what a lot of people like to do against tight slots, though, and what a lot of people are doing in general right now in Man 24, is we're getting a lot of this double Mabel uh, coverage. And typically their user is going to play kind of like a three red hook over the short middle of the field, try to take away any like hitches or underneath stuff. This concept is really good for that because they're going to have to still use or underneath to stop that running back Texas pattern. And then you'll notice that this post route is going to get over the top of any kind of zone drop. It doesn't matter if they put him at 30 yard clouds. It doesn't matter if it's an outside quarter. Uh, and we'll show you both of those different strategies that they can do. So let's say that they, you know, come out and they want to play kind of a double Mabel standard, double Mabel cover. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to choose who they want to guard. Do they want to guard the running back angle route over the middle, or do they want to go guard the post? Almost every single time, everybody that you play are going to go ahead and guard the running back Texas pattern because they're kind of trusting this 30-yard this cloud. But as you can see here, he's going to run over the top of that every single time, especially if you have set feet lead. That's a really easy throw. So now we put them in a position where defensively they have to go user that uh, that post route. Well, when they have to go user that post route, now it limits significantly the options they have underneath. And so this is where this running back angle route is gonna almost always be wide open once they figure out that they have to go user that post route. Not only are we able to beat a cover two, but we're also able to beat cover four and cover three. So a lot of people will also try to run with like some cover four quarters or some kind of like base press cover four style defenses. Now, when you see a pressed, uh, a pressed cornerback, what I would recommend is throwing it a little bit before that, right underneath the streak. I think that's the safest window to throw that ball. 
However, one other thing that I did want to suggest to you, especially if you have Hot Route Master, if you see that they are, they are um, baseline impressing you, that Cloud Flat can't drop back enough to be able to defend uh, properly anyway. So by using the Slot Apprentice Post, this is a very, very effective uh, little way to attack that covered shell. So as you can see, they were able to attack cover three, able to attack cover four, and you can kind of leave it up to you if you want to utilize the smart route, if you want to utilize just the regular route, or if you want to utilize the slot apprentice post. But the bottom line is this is truly one of the money routes in this game because it's able to beat pretty much anything that the defense can do to counter it with the exception of being usered. And then when we get them in the habit of having to go user that post, it opens up everything else underneath um, this drag route, I can't stress enough, especially against man coverage, is really, really effective. Thanks for watching the video. To get the full ebook on this offense, make sure to join the Patreon. We have a full Bengals ebook, and we just dropped the brand new Bears offense over there as well. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.